Hi everybody, uh, this is Patrick from www.engineeringshock.com and www.electroniclessons.com. Uh, I just wanted to show you some of our new inventory. We've got tons of new stuff coming in uh, every week, so this is just a uh, this is just a little sample. We sell uh, actually a lot more than just this on my on the uh, eBay store, which can be found at www.electroniclessons.com. So. These are infrared detectors. They're shielded, and they've got uh, they've got internal amplifiers. So you can use you can interface with your uh, Arduino or uh, Stamp or PEC, and um, well, you you can basically point your your TV remote control at them, and it'll give you a zero to five volt output. You'll be able to see the pulse that your uh, remote control is giving you. Now this one's fun. Really simple power amplifier. Uh, you can put it on your. You can attach it to your iPod. Yeah, uh, here's speaker out. Uh, mic in, which is just audio in, and your power. And you can adjust your power and uh, and the the volume using a potentiometer on here. So it comes as a kit. Uh, the instructions are in Chinese, but it's easy to figure. It's really easy to figure out. It takes it doesn't take you very long. Uh, and please also keep in mind that all of these are are great great prices. Now this is something new. This is something you won't see every day. Most ultrasonic transducers are 40 kilohertz, but this bad boy, this is a transmitter only, and it's 25 kilohertz ultrasonic transducer, which really makes it not so much an ultrasonic transducer, but essentially that's what it is. So the center frequency of 25 kilohertz. It's wonderful for. Um, getting your kids to bugger off if they're in the room they can actually hear the ultrasonic signals whereas anyone over say 22 or 23 can't hear the ultrasonic signals as well animals don't like it so they're good for animal de for uh, animal deterrence you can interface it with a microprocessor and a, say a PIR or a laser circuit so if an animal comes within a certain range uh, it turns on the ultrasonic transducer and it frightens them enough for that they'll go away these are nothing special. These, but but they do. I sell them for a very reasonable price in the eBay store. Ten for uh, a small a small price, a bulk of ten. They're uh, DC piezo buzzers, so you don't need your own frequency. You just have to feed five volts DC to the uh, to the positive end and ground the other end, and there you go. So uh, good for again, good for just about any hardware project you can think of. I I use them all the time, and I'm a I'm a huge fan. I'm not a fan of having to uh drive speakers as a a warning or as a, just a uh, an indicator by using a 555 timer to generate a frequency yeah it's just not worth it so 5 volt dc piezo buzzers okay so isd 1720 audio chips these are like the apr 9600 which can be found on our store uh they can easily be interfaced with uh with microprocessors they uh they can record up to 120 seconds, so have a look at my at, at www.electroniclessons.com for the ISD 1720. Uh, this one, this one is a very this one's for good for students. It's a variable. Uh, it, it's an LED uh, light follower. So there's seven LEDs, seven or eight LEDs. Sorry, I haven't built this kit up just yet, but I'm planning to do it this weekend. Uh, and there's a potentiometer and a frequency generator on it, so you can. Uh, change the frequency that the LEDs scroll from left to right. These ones are very interesting. This is the MQ2 on the left. The MQ2 is a smoke detector uh, component. The MQ4 on the right, they look almost identical, is a natural gas detector. Uh, great for inter interfacing with an ADC, uh, which can be interfaced with a, with a microprocessor. They're actually selling quite well. Um, here, this is the PM13, which is the butane, smoke, and petroleum gas detector. Uh, there's no data sheet on it, but it's exactly the same pinout as the MQ2. If you want to ask me a question about it, please don't hesitate. This one is a this is a power solenoid, three ohms, 12 volt or 24 volt. So if you have a power supply that can handle such a load, go for it because it's got five kilograms of force behind it. And it's got a spring on it, and it's easily mounted to a wall. 
in the back here. No one, I haven't fully had, I haven't taken this one apart yet or put it together rather. It's an AM radio kit. Uh, it's it's in Chinese. So if you're looking for a challenge, please don't hesitate to inquire. Look on uh, electroniclessons.com. You may not be able to see this. This is the HS1101 uh, relative humidity sensor. There's a couple of them in there. This is the drinking game kit. It's not put together yet, but I will put it together. What it is is you've got your seven segment display that goes right there, eight buttons. Every contestant puts their finger on one of the buttons, and you either ask you ask a question. First one to buzz in, it'll tell you which what number it buzzed in first. You can turn it into a fun game. You can turn it into a, a quiz game. You can turn it into a drinking game. Uh, comes with instructions, kind of in Chinese, but well, not kind of in Chinese. In Chinese, but it's easy to put together. It's fun. You won't have a problem with it. My favorite. The MQ3 alcohol sensor. Uh, there's another video I have on this. In fact, I'm going to play a few videos on this. You'll have a good time with you. Uh, you'll have a good time watching the video. I can assure you. The MQ3 alcohol sensor can be made into a breathalyzer. Uh, you can do a lot with it. Again, easily interface with an ADC and a microprocessor. Let's get over here. Want to be outside your house and freak out your family? Hook this up to some AC stuff. Some your lamp, your TV, your radio. It's a, a wireless relay board, which comes with a four a four prong wireless remote with an antenna. It's on a it's a on a keychain. Relay A B C D. You've got your antenna. Good distance. Be outside your house and turn off four different four turn on four different appliances at once. So I'm also selling PIR sensors on my store for very cheap. I got some bolt PIR sensor deals. I've got lots of great stuff on www.electroniclessons.com. But if you're looking for circuit engineering, if you're a student and you need some help with some circuitry, we can help you engineer it. Won't cost you too much. But if you're uh, if you're an inventor, a mechanical inventor, and you want some help with the electronics. Talk to us. We do circuit engineering uh, for companies. We've got a very interesting way of going about it. So, uh, inquire through uh, YouTube, inquire through eBay, inquire through www.engineeringshock.com. Uh, any questions, you know, we will answer them. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.